So there are a few options available for anyone looking to replace the R22 in their systems or replace the refrigeration system completely. Uh, the first option would be to use a drop-in replacement refrigerant. Uh, however, this needs careful consideration, uh, mainly because the drop-ins don't have the same performance as R22. Uh, for example, most 134A or HFO-based synthetic refrigerants will have a significant capacity reduction in comparison to compressors initially sized for R22. Um, another consideration with refrigerant blends is material compatibility. Since traditional mineral oils must be changed out for PoE oils to maintain miscibility with the new refrigerant, likely all of the gaskets and seals would also need to be changed out for compatibility. Um, on top of this, all lower GWP synthetic refrigerants have a temperature glide and so there will at least be an impact to controls and expansion valve operation at a minimum. Uh, and since, since the temperature glide means that there will be fractionation uh, in flooded type uh, systems, um, these systems aren't applicable for some of these lower GWP uh, synthetic refrigerants that are on the market today. Uh, so for those that are looking to uh, potentially change their system out completely, the next option would be to move to a natural refrigerant, which is seen as an excellent option because natural refrigerants won't be subject to future restriction and legislation, as is the case with many of the HFC alternatives. Uh, we've seen that even low GWP HFC refrigerants are being targeted for restricting legislation, and so many that are still using R22 have an opportunity to skip over HFCs and move straight to a future-proof natural refrigerant solution.